be interesting to see who will be affected most by the break because I think you know going away for 20 from for 20 minutes after that quite intense atmosphere previous it's going to be quite interesting to see whether the uh, whether the break does have any effect at all whether it's just good you know for them to clear their heads really because quite intense it was prior to the prior to the uh, halfway point so the second session of this match then I think there's no doubt that you know, like Greg Gamlin did say in his email that either way win or lose Ole has definitely shown that he's got uh, some grit determination and actually can play a game of pool I think most people thought he was stupid for taking the game on in the first place. This will be interesting. I mean, he started the match with the first two frames. Can he start the second session as he started the first? Almost celebrating before the eight ball's gone down. But it does. And first blood of this second session to Early Bale. 15 each now. I do pay her well, James. Yeah, thank you for the uh, clarification on what you were asking. And a message from who was it? Adrian, Adrian Proctor, A.K.A. Norris. He predicts a scoreline of 30 to 24 to Gaz Potts. His class and composure will prove too much for early in the end, and Gaz will bring the cash back to Staffordshire. And he's also put in brackets the home of English eight ball pool. Yeah, there are quite a few decent players from Staffordshire, definitely, I agree with that. I don't know about the home of English 8-ball pool. Oh, he's been given a chance again here as well. Needed to nudge those yellows to open them up. He's not quite got on it. I think he's still got one yellow. Oh, I don't think it passes into the corner, to be honest. He's got the one at the top left if he wants to take it on. I think he's just going to try and control this right-hand corner pocket here. That's what he has done. Happy to play the percentages when he needs to. moves that yellow out. I think Oli can see this yellow to the left middle if he wants to take it on. It's a case of um, then needing to find a way of developing those two yellows that are on the left-hand side. Again, just happy to try and tie the game up at the moment. I think now, you know, we've seen a good run of racks. We are going to see a few slow ones. It's, no, it's inevitable at some point we're going to see a couple of slow frames. Maybe this could be one of them. Now, before the start of this match, I'd have probably said that Gareth was favourite when it came to that kind of tactical battle.
Interesting to note that the uh, the majority of the crowd has stayed on. There's a couple of people gone home past 11 o'clock. Could be their bedtime, of course, but uh, the majority of the crowd are still here, and I think that's going to be the case until the early hours. My original prediction of this match being finished by half 11 now has no real chance, I think. but then they did start an hour later. I still reckon we could be wrapped up by one o'clock. Um, it does depend on this type of frame though, of course. It turns into a little bit of a game of chess here. Gareth doesn't want to move the, that cluster of balls in the center of the table because that would give advantage to Ole. He wants Ole to move it. At some point, someone's gonna have to, otherwise, uh, The frame will drag on.
Just out of curiosity, have we got anybody uh, outside the UK watching this weekend? Send us an email to inquiries at qsport.tv if you're outside the UK. I know we had a number of inquiries in the lead-up from Australia uh, where this match was, I think, going to be quite popular. So it's just interesting to know if we've got any uh, other nationalities tuning in. Or are you all mainly from the UK? You know, at the halfway stage, I'll give everybody the chance. If you want to change your predictions, you're quite welcome to. I won't make mine until someone's at 29. Less risk of being wrong, then. Yes, sir. 